Talking chef and restaurant owner Andrew Gruel is here. <laughs> chef, great to see you. I don't even know where to start. So this started actually in cities, in left-wing liberal cities back in like 2019. I think Berkeley, California was the first. This is horse manure. They're, now they're talking about asthma. We're protecting the children. Gas stoves don't cause asthma. There's no research proving that. Chef, take it from here. Well, look, there's a whole new calculus for the way in which America thinks in general, and I genuinely think we have completely lost our minds. So the idea now is, is that if we want an end, right, and the end is obviously get rid of gas stoves, get rid of fossil fuels, everything has to be electric, renewable now, they're going to create as many stories as they can and then try and piece together statistics that really have no connection to at least get the headline that everybody can glam onto. The recent headline is that gas stoves lead to asthma in children, right. and now they're running with that one to try and scare everybody. Everybody bites on the headline, and then suddenly it becomes fact. I mean, this is absolutely unbelievable. So let's break it down by way of this new study that's kind of re-triggered or catalyzed what we're seeing in the press right now. But as you had stated in this intro, this has been going on for years. Right. The new piece is using the children to try and scare people. Well, this study is not an actual study on children. It was a meta-analysis of all these already poor, these poor studies that have been done over over the decades that have gotten no attention, and now they've pulled it together. The organization that funded this study, uh, RMI, is an environmental think tank whose mission, right on their website, states that they want to get rid of all you know, natural gas, anything so that they can reduce all greenhouse emissions. And obviously, it's in their financial benefit to create a study that shows why we need to do this. So all of this is junk. And then let's also talk about asthma, right? Asthma is an allergy. There's not any allergens within natural gas. And if we're cutting out natural gas, well, then where is all this electricity coming from? It's coming from coal. It's coming from natural gas in a centralized area, which means it's less efficient and that much worse for the environment. So it's actually actually a net negative. This whole thing is junk. And the fact that people are actually believing and moving along with it is such absurdity that I will be trapping myself within my stove and protesting until this gets out of the minds of the collective. So the original stories written, and kudos to Stephen Miller on Twitter, because we I've been following this and complaining and cursing about it with my brother who is an excellent amateur cook for years, because he was living in California for a number of years. Um, the original stories about this, when th this movement started in California and Berkeley and other, and other cities, because it's been growing, it's dozens of cities that have done this, there was never any mention of asthma. And in fact, the Wall Street no. Journal editorial board points out, the international study of asthma and allergies in children, the most comprehensive global study to date found, quote, no evidence of an association between the use mm -hmm. of gas as a cooking fuel and either asthma symptoms or asthma diagnosis. But we're getting off topic mm -hmm. here because here's my alternative. I'm gonna cook with wood because Southerners love cooking with a wood stove. You're worried about the environment? Yep. I'm bringing back the wood stove. I'm gonna be just loading it up with some delicious cherry wood and oak and elm, because that's what people will do if you push them. Or, and they point out, they're handed, given these government handouts for electric stoves, what will happen, it will be like Cuba and cars. There will be an entire secondary market for used gas stoves. Yeah. So they're going to ban new stoves. Yeah. There's going to be a secondary market. It'll be great if you know how to work on an old gas stove because people are not going to give up their gas stoves. Certainly not a chef. Well, restaurants can't function. You're going to have restaurants that are just t fully equipped with microwaves. You cannot commercially cook food without gas right now, the way the system is set up. And then even if induction, which is really kind of some sort of cookery for the future, takes on these new and more innovative ways to be able to commercialize it in a grand scale, it's still not going to happen. And as you say, fire, you need the flavor, the smoke, all of that. But they're going to ban fire. At the end of the day, you're not even going to be able to light a fire. And that in and of itself is going to be akin to, uh, you know, like I would say smoking crack in a public square, but that's actually encouraged in California. So mm -hmm. this whole thing is just joke. We're living in a tragic comedy. So having a wood stove is dangerous if you're 
married to a man or woman who is a delicious cook but has a hair trick or temper because they might burn up your clothes to spite you. They'll cook you a delicious dinner, but cook it with your clothing. And I know stories of when that's actually happened. Um, but one other thing about induction, I was talking to a family member about it. So induction stovetops, they're not bad. So they do use electricity, they're not gas, but they create a magnetic field that generates heat directly into the cookware, but it doesn't mm -hmm, work mm -hmm. with all cookware. So your cookware yep. might not work. Yep. And you know what? It, you have to buy a special burner for a wok. So woks don't work on well, induction burners. So you know what this is? Um, a, banning gas stoves is anti-Asian and racist. It is actually culturally insensitive and ignorant for, for this, the Consumer Product Safety Commission to say, you have to ban, we're gonna ban gas stoves. It is racist and culturally ignorant. How about that? Yeah, well, it will, t it will put a lot of ethnic restaurants, typically mom and pops, independents out of business. You need that fire, especially for the basis of that particular type of cooking. You actually are correct in that. And I know we're being tongue in cheek, but there is a lot of truth to that. No. And that's what you've seen now with the mass exodus out of the cities that have already done this is, is that they've really and quite literally whitewashed their restaurant communities. You're going to have an Applebee's on every single corner. You're going to be eating good in the neighborhood by pressing buttons on your microwave. Right. I lived in a building when I first moved to New York City, and it was a family who lived down the hall from me, and they used to cook and deliver food out of their apartment, and it was absolutely delicious. And so I don't think that these bureaucrats with the big pants, the power-hungry jackasses think about these families. They don't think about the small business owners. No. We're coming for them. No, no. Andrew and it Brew. will help. It will. It will hurt lower income, uh, lower income communities. It will. Chef, thank you. Great to see you.